Hey, it's Pastor Fred. Welcome to the follow through. Uh, wh what are we doing here? Well, we are listening to God and we are living for Him, right? We don't want to just read the, the Bible and 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 because we've done you've done that probably and if forgetting what you read it really maybe didn't make any difference to you in your life uh we want to change all that and, and and really have you that's why we call it the follow through so hit that subscribe button share this with somebody we are in ephesians 6 all week we're in verse 12 today and i i probably don't have to tell you that people are fighting with each other and, and there's nothing new under the sun. You can go all the way back to the beginning of the Bible and, uh, and you see the two, right? You have Cain and Abel, first two kids, one kills the other. That, so it shouldn't surprise us that things are a mess right now. Uh, it just shouldn't surprise us when we look back in history. And it's been a mess for a long time because the devil has been at work. He's the real enemy. Uh, and, and see, the thing that he wants to do is it's for us to not notice him. Notice how uncomfortable we get, and maybe you're getting uncomfortable now as I talk about the devil. Uh, and, and, and again, I'm not saying like that, oh, the devil made me do it in, in order to, um, you know, excuse myself or, or rationalize anything. I'm just saying it's real. I'm saying that he puts thoughts in our head. He, he has others that work with him and work for him. Uh, and, and some of those are, are, are people that really know what they're doing. Others, maybe unwillingly or unwittingly, you know, are, are jumping in. Uh, again, blatant enemies of, of, of our faith, but others who are just kind of doing their thing and uh, maybe not looking to cause trouble and yet, you know, find themselves, you know, kind of against me or, or against you. So we want to see, um, Paul, Paul says this in verse 12 of Ephesians 6. He says, look, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, even though, you know, it might feel that way. He's like, look, the real battle is against rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. So there's like this war, like, because the devil doesn't want to admit his defeat. He doesn't want to admit that when Jesus went to the cross, uh, that, 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 that the devil thought that he had won. He thought that he had won victory. He thought like, ah, oh, yeah, I got him now. But his death, as one of my favorite hymns says, is death's undoing. So that's why the cross is, is just everything for us. Because it means we're forgiven. It means that the devil no, ha no longer has any power over us. I, I don't have to give in to him. I don't have to go, oh boy, what am I going to do? In fact, I'm... I'm I, I will never have to legitimately say, well, you know, the devil made me do it. I got to own what I do. But, but I also got to realize that the devil's are not, to, you know, he's not blameless in this. In fact, he is very much active, very much behind and around, and he's there. Uh, scripture says he's like, a, he's like a roaring, like a prowling or a roaring lion seeking those he can devour. So he's like right around the corner. He's just waiting. He's setting traps. He's doing all these things. But God uh, is... I think it's awesome that, that God is uh, waking us up to this reality to let us know that there is a fight and to know that even though we might feel powerless, even though we might feel like, man, I don't have what it takes to fight the forces of evil and all these, you know, rulers and, and cosmic forces and, and all these things. But he does. Jesus does. He has the power. He already won the victory. He already defeated them. Now they're going to make noise. They're going to cause trouble. But, but losers is what they are. It's what the devil is. It's what his demons are. That's what all those forces are. They're, they're losers in, in, a, in, in the truest sense of the word because they will never ultimately win. Their fate has, listen, has already been determined. The cross wasn't something that, that may have happened or may happen. No, it's something that did happen. So when that, when that, when that, when the sky went dark and when the and when the curtain in the in the in the temple was torn in two, we were made right with God by the blood of that Lamb of God by Jesus. What a beautiful thing! What an amazing thing! I, I pray I pray that you trust that today. That you trust Him today in the middle of the battle, because you know it's happening. You know, you can feel that battle. You know that he's won the war already. And that we can rest in his love and his victory.
every single day, all right? So let's share this with somebody, and you have a great rest of your day. God bless.